praise the lord everyone last time we had read exodus 19 today we start with exodus 20 when the people saw the thunder and lightning and heard the trumpet and saw the mountain in smoke they trembled with fear they stayed at a distance and said to moses speak to us yourself and we will listen but do not have god speak to us or we will die Moses said to the people do not be afraid god has come to test you so that the fear of god will be with you to keep you from sinning the people remained at a distance while moses approached the thick darkness where god was Then the Lord said to Moses tell the Israelites this you have seen yourself and that I have spoke to you from heaven do not make any gods to be alongside me do not make for yourselves gods of silver or gods of gold make an altar of your earth from me and sacrifice on it your burnt offering and fellowship offering your ship and goods and your cattle Whenever I cause my name to be honored I will come to you and bless you if you make an altar of stones for me do not build it with just stones for you will defile it if you use a tool on it and do not go up to my altar and steps you privately part may, may be exposed These are the laws you are to set before them. If you buy a Hebrew servant, he is to serve you for six years. But in the seventh year, he shall go fire without paying anything. If he comes alone, he is to go free alone. But if he has a wife and he comes, she is to go with him. If his master gives him a wife and she bears him sons or daughters, the woman and her children shall belong to her master, and only the man shall go free. But if the servant declares, "I love my master and my wife and children and do not want to go free," then his master must take him before the judges. He shall take him to the door. or the doorpost and burst his ear with an awl then he will be the, his servant for life if a man sells his daughters as a servant he is not to go free as male servants do if she go don't please the master who has selected her for himself he must let her be remit he has no right to sell her for a nurse because he has faith with her if he selects her for his son he must grant her the rights of a daughter if he marries another woman he must not deprive the first one of her food clothing and marital rights if he does not prov- provide her with these three things she is to go free without any payment of money anyone who strikes a person with a fatal bowl is to be put to death however if it is done not initially but god has let it happen they are to free to place i will designate but if anyone schemes and kills someone that person is to be taken from my altar and put to death anyone who attacks their father and mother is to be put to death anyone who kidnaps someone is to be put to death whether the victim has been sold or is still in the position anyone who curses their father or mother is to be put to the death if people quarrel and one person hits another with a stone or with her fist and the victim does not die but is confident to bet the one who struck the blow will not be held liable if the other can get up and walk around outside with a staff however the guilty party must pay an injured person for any loss of time and see that the victim is completely healed anyone who beats a male or female slave with a rod must be punished if the slave died as a direct result but they are not to be punished in the slave recovers after a day or two since the slave is their property if people are fighting and hit a pregnant woman and she gives birth premier the there is no serious injury the offer must be fined whatever the woman's husband demands and the court allows amen god bless you all